All right, y'all. What up? What up, world? What it do? What up? What up? What up, y'all? What it do? What the business is, ladies and gentlemen? This is your girl Essence. Essence. Oh, this is your girl Essence, and you are tuned in. You are tuned in to yet another episode of Essence TV for Urban Gossip App. First of all, don't judge my glasses. I just got back uh, from the West Coast and I broke them because I slept on them. Now, there's only one thing that I want to talk to y'all about today. Paula Dean. I debated for a while on whether or not I would speak about this just because the things that I had to say, not a lot of people agreed with. But the more that I hear about it, the more that I feel inclined to speak on it. With that being said, here it is. I think, my opinion, I believe that this Paula Deen situation is blown way out of proportion. I am not offended by anything that she is rumored to have said or done. And I especially don't believe that she should have been fired or separated from any of her business ventures. I've heard a lot of people have dropped her and I don't believe that that should have happened at all. And I'm going to tell y'all why I feel this way. First of all, there is a difference between being racist and being racially insensitive. Paula Dean is not racist, and if you are calling her racist, then you have no idea what racism is, okay? Racism is a hatred for someone because they are a different race than you, or a self-hatred of your own race. It is a hatred, like you don't like black folks because they're black, and there's like... And other there may be other reasons but the main reason why you dislike this person is because he or she is black you wish that they would all die and burn in hell because they're black that is racism okay Paula Dean is not a racist Paula Dean I genuinely believe does not hate black people Paula Dean may just like all of us have um, internalized and preconceived ideas about members of other races and may say things about other races that the people of that race may find offensive, but that doesn't mean that she hates black people. She is racially insensitive. And guess what, people? You people, you cattle, guess what? Everybody is racially insensitive in some way. Everybody. And I, I know that everybody's main thing is the fact that she has admitted to using a racial slur. People, she has admitted to using the N-word some time ago in the past. I wish that anybody that sees this video would hit me and tell me that they have never ever used a racial slur before in their life. I really wish. We are all guilty of being racially insensitive, saying racially insensitive things, using racial slurs. It may not be the n-word, it may not be slurs against white folks, but we have used them. We all have. And if you say that you haven't, it's just because you haven't been caught saying it yet. Period. So my question is, why in the hell are we crucifying this woman for doing the same shit that we all are guilty of doing? Why? Because she's famous? We love to come down on people that we know can't hit us with any backlash. You all have been absolutely slamming this poor woman. If nobody else will admit it, then I will. 
I'm definitely guilty of using some racial slurs against all races. You know what I mean? But it's not, it's something that we all do. And I don't mean it to be offensive. I don't hate anybody of any other race. But it's something that we do. We use different racial words. And when we feel like nobody is around to get pissed off at us, we say things. We say all kinds of crazy stuff when we're alone and when we're around friends that we know aren't going to get upset or tell other people that's going to get upset. That's just the reality. I'm going to give y'all some examples of racial insensitivity, okay? That's outside of telling racial jokes or using racial slurs, okay? If you call every Asian person that you see Chinese, you are racially insensitive. Y'all act like there are not other Asian ethnicities out there. If you call every Hispanic person that you see a Mexican, then you are racially insensitive. You're not racist. You just don't know any better. It's racial insensitivity. That, that doesn't make you racist. Paula Deen used the N-word. It does not make her racist. Paula Deen discussed, did not implement, but discussed having a plantation-themed party somewhere. She said that she was somewhere with her husband or her brother or somebody, and there was... The staff was all black folks in white suits. It was an idea. For me, I just can't get offended. I just can't get offended. It's not like she wants slavery to come back. Not saying that it's something that should have happened, but, I mean, it was discussed, but it wasn't carried out, so we shouldn't even really be worried about it anyway. But... All I'm saying is I wouldn't have been offended. That's just that's just me. I don't think that she should be crucified for discussing something. I also saw the interview where she brought out her the guy that's her assistant, I guess the black dude, and she talked about how he was as black as this board. My response is he was black as the board. There was a dark purple black man she was not telling a lie and I don't think that people should use that as evidence that she's racist like she was telling the truth and also when it comes to her apology people are saying that her apology wasn't sincere and that she was only apologizing so that she wouldn't lose her money I believe that she wanted to apologize um for offending her african-american fan base i do believe that or her black fan base specifically i think that she was genuine in that i believe that her team her publicist agent management whoever rushed her into doing that ratchet ass apology and i heard it was painful i didn't exactly see it myself but i heard it was painful those were the people that were doing it for the money they wanted her to hurry up and do the apology so that they could keep their money I don't believe that it was her specifically. And anyway, she'll be fine, okay? This lady made uh, $10 million in one year recently. She'll be fine. And there's other businesses that she has her hands in that you would never suspect. Paula Dean is everywhere. I was in Walmart yesterday. See these glasses? These glasses are broke, like I mentioned earlier. And I went to Walmart to get new glasses and saw that she has a line of glasses. My point is, Paula Dean is everywhere. She'll never stop making money. She'll be fine. And let me also point out the fact that the lady that is filing this lawsuit against Paula Dean that started all this mess, she's white. She's not black. I don't know if a lot of people knew that. Um... If she was offended by any of the things that Paula may have said in that restaurant, um, I guess her race really doesn't matter. But if Paula's making jokes about black folks and this white lady got offended, it really doesn't have the same effect as if it was a black lady. Again, some local news channels, you know, caught up in date. They, they did a little background on this lady. She is known for lying a lot. They interviewed former employers. She has been 
uh, fired in the past for lying about stupid stuff and trying to get money off of people by lying about s stuff that happens on the job and stuff like that. Even though Paula has admitted to using the N-word before, now this brings to light the fact that we're not even sure if she even said all of this stuff that this lady said that she's saying. Look it up. Anyway, I'm just over it. I don't think Paul is racist. Give her a break. Leave her alone. Fuck everybody in the club. I support her and I will continue to support her. And with that being said, I'm done. So, this is your girl Essence and you have been tuned into another episode of Essence TV for Irving Gossip App. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at EssenceATL. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Download the app, Urban Gossip app, iPhone, Androids. And we also have a new app that we just launched last week called Urban News. And Urban News isn't just specifically focused on celebrity and entertainment news like Urban Gossip is, but there are also other topics like politics and money, relationships, health, things of that nature. So if you're looking for things other than gossip, download Urban News as well. And as usual, if you have any tea, do not hesitate to hit me on any of my social networking sites and spill that tea, hunty. Because if it's good, I will report it. Okay? Until next time, y'all. Deuces.